Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my Child of the Week Assembly. Because it's the first full week of this year, we aren't actually doing Child of the Week celebrations, but uh, it's still my whole school assembly. I'm sorry we can't meet in person, but uh, I hope you enjoy it all the same. Those who've uh, recently joined our school, we always begin with a liturgy, and uh, it's a way of saying and recognising that God is in our midst and is, uh, is there to shine his light. So we begin as normal with our liturgy. In the beginning, when God created all things, he said, let there be light. And there was light. And we say together, let your light shine. God is light and in him there is no darkness. Let your light shine. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Let your light shine. Well, our assembly today is called Small Man, Big Welcome. And it's about how we show our welcome to those who are new in our midst. Do you remember I read you a book a little while back? Uh, it was last year. It was called All Are Welcome. And in that book, at the end, it said, you have a place here. You have a space here. I wonder what that means. I've had a really lovely, warm welcome back to school by so many people, by uh, children, by mums and dads, by my staff. Been away for quite a long time and uh, to come back and to be welcomed is, is really lovely. So thank you all. But I wonder, do we give everyone the same warm welcome? Or do sometimes we, we don't give a welcome in that same way? Make me think, how do we show our welcome? It's not just by being kind and smiling at people. What do we do to actually express that welcome, and show that welcome to maybe new people who've joined our school? I wonder if you could stop the video here and uh, maybe share in your classes. How do we show our welcome? What practical ways, what pr practical things can we do to make other people welcome? I hope you had some really good ideas there. And maybe you can discuss this and think a little bit more about it over the day and over the, over the next week, perhaps. A song that we used to love singing in our assemblies was uh, the Big Family of God. And part of that uh, song said, God loves everyone he's made. God loves each of us in a special way. Do you remember the different talk, the types of people that were mentioned? Some of us are big and tall. Some of us are very small. Some of us are very loud. Some of us are big. That's because we're different, you and me. But that difference shouldn't mean that we don't make people welcome. God loves everyone he's made. You might want to stop again and listen to that song. You can find it, um, staff can find it on the P drive. Or you might even want to sing it. I wonder if you've ever felt unwelcome. What did that feel like? Well, there was a man in the Bible called Zacchaeus and he really felt unwelcome and disliked by people. Let's hear his story. And 
let us think as we listen to this, how did Jesus make Zacchaeus feel welcome? Hello, my name's Zacchaeus. Have you ever made, been made to feel unwelcome? Well, I have. You see, I'm a chief tax collector. That means I organise the collecting of money from hard, hardworking, honest people, and I give it to the Romans. Although we don't live anywhere near Rome, the Romans make us pay taxes. That's to them because they're running our country. They're not very popular, as you can imagine. And that means I'm not very popular either. The Romans ask people to pay their taxes, but I collect them and then I'm allowed to take a bit more payment for the work I do. Lots of people hate giving the Romans money and they hate me because I have become very rich collecting it. Well, one day Jesus came to Jericho. That's the town where I live. The word spread through the town that Jesus was coming and people came out of their houses, they lined the streets to get a glimpse of him. I don't know what came over me, but I just had to see him. And I ran up and down the crowds, trying to get a gap so that I could see the road, but it was too busy and you see, I'm quite little and I just couldn't see. People wouldn't let me through. I don't blame them because who'd be kind to a tax collector? especially someone who charged them sometimes more than they owed and made a penny on it. All I knew that was I wanted to see Jesus. There was just no way I could get through the people. So I decided to run ahead and I climbed a tree. That way I could see him. Can you imagine it? Me, a short, wealthy businessman climbing a tree. I must have looked very strange. Anyway, I waited till I see a, a glimpse of Jesus on the road. I don't know what I expected, but everybody had been talking about him and I just wanted to see what he was like. He appeared and got closer and closer and he was about to pass by when he stopped and he looked up at me in the tree and he called me by my name. Well, as you could expect, I was a bit surprised. Actually, I nearly fell off the branch that I was clinging on to. He actually asked if he could come and visit, visit me at my house. Well, I didn't know quite what to say. I couldn't say no, could I? I wonder if you think people made the Kiers feel welcome that day. I don't think they did, did they? They tried to block him out prevent him from being part of what was going on. But Jesus wasn't having any of that. He gave his full attention to Zacchaeus. And that's really important, that when we make people feel welcome, it's about giving them our attention, making them feel important. Another word for making someone welcome is to say that we make them feel at home. I love this book. I'm showing another image today. And a little boy says to the horse, home isn't always a place, is it? It's an interesting one to consider. Home isn't always a place. We think of our home as where we live. But we can make people feel at home even when they don't have a home to live in. Over the last few weeks, there have been hundreds and thousands of people who have been fleeing, leaving Afghanistan because they no longer feel it's their home. They feel scared to stay there. They haven't got really anywhere to go, anywhere to call home. They're just leaving. And this picture of hundreds of people, I think there were 650 people in this aeroplane, all sitting on the bottom of it. 
coming to the UK, coming to our country to find a new home. I wonder how we can make them feel welcome. How can we make them feel at home in our country? Maybe in our town. St Lawrence Church, Reverend Andrew and Reverend Mark and uh, people in their church have been raising money for the Afghanistan appeal. And uh, I think it was last weekend, they raised £1,639 towards that appeal. They're giving that money so that it can help make people who are fleeing Afghanistan, refugees who are coming to our country, can help them to feel welcome. Maybe we can think of how we might join in with that appeal with St Lawrence Church. If it's something you'd like to do, maybe tell your teachers and uh, we can see whether there's some way that as a school we can extend our welcome as well. So time to reflect. When have you felt welcome and what made you feel welcome? What positive actions that other people did? Have you ever felt unwelcome and what made you feel unwelcome? What did people do that made you feel unwelcome? How can we give others our attention, make them feel welcome, make them feel important. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads and I'm going to lead us in a prayer. And if you agree with me, then you can say Amen at the end. Dear God, we're thankful for times that we have been made to feel welcome. We also know what it means to be ignored or made to feel unwelcome. May we give others our attention today. May our actions and the words that we say make others feel important and cared for and welcome. Amen. It's about letting our light shine, isn't it? Shall we say Lord's Prayer together? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we go in the light and peace of Jesus to let our light shine. In the name of Christ. Amen.